Generic greetings! Morphblade is an interesting specimen because it's pretty much impossible to define what the game is and indeed what genre the game is, but it's very easy to explain how you play it. So, for example, if I was to do the former, I would say, oh, well, it's a casual game, it's an indie game. Well, that tells you nothing about how the game plays. I mean, you could even say it's a wave game or a survival game, but it, again, that doesn't tell you much about it. But if you just describe what you do, you immediately get it. So, you are a robot that has different abilities depending on what tile it is. Is on and your objective is to kill all of the bugs on the map, expand your tile base and then go wave after wave after wave until you're dead. Then you understand what it's like. So this is said robot in the middle and I can move around and I'm currently on the hammer space and we've got a bug in front of me. The hammer space allows me to hammer an enemy in front of me. Bang! It is now dead. Excellent. And then I can move to different tiles and these ones here are the active tiles. So we've got a hammer and a hammer and you can mouse over a tile and it will tell you what it does which is pretty cool. And you've got different tiles. So this is a teleport tile. It will allow you to teleport from one tile to another. And this is a blade tile. So if I go to blades, I will then activate that tile and then an enemy will spawn. It is now here. You can click on your space to sort of skip until it's spawned. And then I will go like that because the blades kill things to the side. Excellent. And now I'm going to go to this tile and then activate that tile. We're going to get this thing here. I will go this side and then bang, we now kill that one. I'm then going to go down to here and get a repair tile and then move up to one. And then bang, I will kill that one. I will now go over to an acid tile and move back to here and then bang I will kill that one I will now go over to repair tile and then come back and then bang we'll kill that one there do you understand what the game is now I think you probably do let's move over to a acid tile here and ah we've now got a black enemy now what these do is uh, these upgrade the tile they're on now see we've got little um little triangles here. Once they're full, that gives us an upgrade, but this one gives us an automatic free upgrade depending on where it is. But what I want to do is probably move down one and that will hit me. So I'm now red and I'm basically one shottable. And I guess I was going, I was trying to pull this away from me, but the problem is if I do that, I will die. And because I didn't want to kill it there because this is almost about to upgrade anyway, so there was no point. But I guess I'm going to have to kill it and bang, we get an upgrade. And because I moved into this space here, which is a repair tile, I'm now fully repaired. We're going to move up to here and then it asks me what I want to do. And I can upgrade this tile based on the tiles that are around me. So, for example, if I upgrade my uh, hammer tile with an acid tile, it kills even armored enemies, which we haven't seen yet. The blade kills from the side, so we can kill not only at the front, but the side. This one here, um, when you you move here it knocks back adjacent enemies so that's quite good and the heal one is repairs you when you uh, when it uh, repairs you when it kills an enemy so let's go for that so then we will uh, move over to say this tile which is the arrow tile and then we'll wait to see what happens ah two enemies well this is good because the arrow tile allows us to jump forward two spaces bang bye enemies <laughs> right let's get blades and then oh we've now got a flying bug thing which can sort of jump around but it's not gonna matter Bang, it is now dead. And then we'll move over to this tile. And, ah, this has got like a laser, so we need to... It can fire an unlimited amount of spaces, but only in a direct line. So down here or down here. It'd be good if you could mouse over the enemy and see what it is. Or, even better, uh, mouse over it and see, like, it's fire arc and things like that. But, yeah. Maybe we'll get that later on, who knows. We'll click again and it'll move down here and then bang, we will kill it. I now get another upgrade here. So we've already had one and I think we'll go for acid. It'll allow me to kill armored enemies, which should be good. Kill that. And I'm going to pull back because I want to start upgrading this tile. And now what we get is another blank tile where if we move to blank tiles, we can pick what we want. So we can just say, well, what do you want? Do you want acid? Do you want this, that, the other? I'm going to go for um, probably a repair tile because we haven't got one up here. And we'll come down to this blade. We're going to skip to this one. We'll kill that. And then we'll kill that. And then we'll go up to here and then pull back. This one's going to fly there. Bang, that goes. There's an upgrade one. Bang, you can go as well. Click on that one and we'll upgrade it with with uh, probably blades as well. Move over to this, and ah, we've now got an armoured enemy, so what these do is, well, essentially they're invulnerable to me, unless I've got a specific upgrade, but acid, which is this tile here, when they go on that, they will get rid of their armour. Like so. Excellent. And then I can jump across to there, and then kill that, and job done, and then we go over to here. So, like I said, it's, it's very difficult to describe ah, this is problematic. It's going to probably dodge most of my acid so i'm going to try and do that yes it's dodging the acid but i believe this because it's upgraded with acid i should be able to kill it <laughs> yes i can like i said it's very difficult to describe what this game is but once you see it after a couple of minutes you go oh i understand that now that is very very readable uh we'll kill that one and we'll kill that one and we'll go down here and then we'll get probably a teleport because it's going to be 
quite far away. We'll go for this one. That's an armored enemy with a laser, so that's going to be difficult. We'll move up to this, and now it's hit me. I'm going to then teleport up to there, which will heal me, then over to there, and then arrow over to there. And what I'm going to have to do is try and get this in an acid area, so now it's in acids. I've had to force it over. The movement of this actually reminds me of a game called uh, Hoplite, which was it's on mobile devices, and it's a very, very, very good mobile game. One of the few mobile games I uh, would recommend to people, and there's a very limited amount I would generally recommend to people but it reminds me of the movement of some of the enemies in that but I think this was inspired by another a uh, mobile game, but I can't remember the name of it because I've never personally played it. This game, by the way, is made by Tom Francis, who brought you um, Gunpoint, Floating Point, and eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later, um, a Heat Signature, which is about boarding into spaceships, which I've actually featured on the channel a couple of times. Um, just as the... Uh, uh, watch you upgrade this one with... Uh that one. Uh, I've featured it a couple of times, uh, but just their prototype. And this actually was a prototype. I didn't even know it was getting a full release until, well, now. So apparently this should kill uh, adjacent enemies. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, what does it what do then? Can we right-click on it? We can. Uh, so it kills armored enemies, uh, repairs you when it kills an enemy, and also... Uh, when you move here, ah, when I move here, it knocks back adjacent enemies, right, okay. Uh, let us get a hammer over this side, and then we've got an upgrade tile, which we will, to be honest with you, just do that, and we'll upgrade the teleporter to a, I think to a heal, so it will heal me, oh, I don't want to do that, because if I'm round here, I'm always going to heal, um, kills enemy to either side of the hex in front of you when you teleport. Teleporting to a hex knocks back all adjacent enemies, I think we're just going to go for heal. There we go. And we'll unlock acid. And now we're going to get three enemies. So fast moving enemy, armored enemy, that thing. I need to... It's the acid that I need to get them into. So let's just do this. And we'll be able to kill two enemies. Oh, look at that. See the tiles go red to show you where you're going to kill someone? Excellent. Fantastic. Let's move there. Strip that guy. Bang. And then he goes. This will upgrade. And I'm going to upgrade a health with another health and that gives us a shield so we now got more more health excellent uh, we're currently on wave 19 which is good and incidentally probably the best i've ever done in this game oh no this is bad these are boomer enemies oh you can right right click and um see what they are right my my bad I, retraction i'm sorry i didn't know you could right click on the enemy and see what it is like very good so we can see exactly what uh, the enemy is. So an explosive shooter bug, a shooter can attack in straight in front of it. And also explosive, destroy the hex it dies in. But what we need is um, an upgraded one of these to neutralize the bug. Um, so we're going to have to destroy some of these hexes. So bang, that hurt. And there we go. So I've actually lost some hexes there, which is bad, but I guess I'll have to then put, they get these back. And there we go. There's them tiles now back. And there's some enemies. I will go, what the hell is that? Punish a, a pusher bug. Oh, shoves you back. And then I'll push us to there. I've lost my shield. I will move over to there. I'll move down to there. And then I'll move over to there. Right. Okay. And then get my shield back. And then into this one and give ourselves, I think an acid. Um, good choice as well because they're coming towards me. I'll move over here. Went to Liss's back and kill that enemy. Uh, kill that enemy. Oh god, this is coming closer. It's going to move. If I move here, it's probably going to move to there. But then that should be okay because then I can teleport to this. Oh, I want to put it at a place where it's going to die and I don't care. So it's going to be there. Bang. And then we'll get that upgraded as well. Right. So I'm going to skip that and then kill that enemy then kill that enemy, and then kill not that enemy, because I want to move back over to there, back over to there, back over to there. I'm trying to get it into there. I'm going to have to do this. There we go. And then I'll upgrade that tile with a... Ah, there's no acid around me. Another acid. I need two acids together so I can neutralize bomb enemies. I'm going to say it heals me when I go there. And let's get my shield. And see, there's an acid over here. But... It's a bit too far away. Uh, I will get this one. I'm on wave 24. Very good, apparently. Um, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll take the compliment, mate. Um, so, what can we do? I'll wait for this next one. That's going to hit me if I fire. So, it's worth it, though. That's been destroyed, and... Let's do this. Right. Heal shield, 
get closer to it and bang right um where now where now hammer oh upgrade your enemy okay what do i want to upgrade that one i guess and we'll upgrade that with i should have gone to that first there we go and then i can upgrade that with acid which kills even armored enemies and run away and we'll kill that which we can upgrade kill that oh this is gonna be so bad it's gonna blow up mm. we need to strip that armor off it and it's because it's because it's floating around like that i'm gonna take a lot of damage here and oh i'm dead i'm dead he's killed me ah damn it yeah it stripped too much off me if i kill him there that's guy that's guy's gonna kill me oh no that's a pusher enemy does it actually kill me no it just pushes me and it pushed me into the heel tile <laughs> and now i've got a shield and now oh i don't want to lose that tile but it's just going to push me about. I can handle that. Right. So I'll lose that tile. Fine. It was worth it. This one will upgrade with kill armored enemies. This one will upgrade with healing. And then we need more acid. Double acid together. We're currently on 26. Furthest I've ever been in this game. So this is an absolute miracle. We need to get to this tile, but if I go there now, it's going to hurt. So I'm going to come back to this side, which now strips it because of where it's moved. Obviously, the enemies can't move together, or rather into the same area. Um, if I move the acid, that's going to swim that way. If I do that, we should be okay. This is a teleport tile, so I can teleport back to there, and then skip the next turn. Oh, no, I can't because it's going to sh shoot me like that. Move to there. Jump over there because... Ah, you can see what enemies I'm going to kill? These two here because that is a blade. And then I get pushed to there, which heals me. So I'm just going to move into there, and then... Oh, it's just pushing me about, and I don't care. Bang, you're dead as well. Get my shield back, and upgrade that with... Move in any direction in a straight line, killing everything you touch. And this kills... And this one is kills even ar armoured enemies. <coughs> and everything beside me. Yeah, that's fairly powerful. Right, let's get another one of those. Oh my good grief, they're all over there. Two armoured enemies... And there's that one dead. And I'll take a hit. But I think it's worth it. I'm going to have to move. And I'll move to... Hmm. This enemy is going to follow me now. I really have to start thinking. If I move to there, I'll heal. But I'll still not be able to kill him. But I'll heal at least and push him back and then move to there and then teleport over to there again and then that gets stripped and then I can go there which will give me a shield there which will take more damage and there which kills him Ooh, 27 right I think I will expand so there's only one two three four five six blank tiles does that mean I win the game if I get that far? Who knows? Uh, let's go for a... I think an, a heal over this side. I'm going to go back... To, oh, God, two boomer enemies. Let's see if I can drag them over here. Um, this is bad. I've already screwed it up. I've just realised. There you go. Too many of them attacked me because I was um, stuck in that way. If I moved up, I needed to move up to this one. If I moved down, that would have even been worse. I should have upgraded that heal tile to a damage tile. But that is wave 28. That is very good. Apparently, that's the best I've ever done. And that is Morph Blade. It's one of those games that is just well-designed and good fun. Like, it doesn't need to have loads of different elements. Like, you know, I could be here showing you a game where we build, like, a massive factory or fly around in space or go and kill mutants or something like that but 
there's times for games like this as well where you just fancy a couple of waves and you go, I just want to restart and just one more round. And that is pretty much Morph Blade. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. I'm dead again.